Hi, my name's Andrew Grierson, and I'm here to talk to you about the equine light masks. So, what's in the box? It opens from the side here, and inside is the mask, and beside that on the inside of the leaf is all the instructions on what to do. And then secondly, we'll show you the placing of the mask on a mare. So the mask is made out of jumper type material which is breathable and very elastic and strong. It has one cup on one side which is on the off side or the right eye of the horse and it has adjustable straps with velcro and three lugs to secure a head collar with it. So to power the unit you pull back the protective cover that covers the micro USB cable. Using a micro USB connector, a standard one, plug the mask with power and initially it will go orange and then after four seconds turn red. It takes between two and four hours to fully charge the lithium ion battery. Once that's fully charged, that battery will be enough power for over three months whilst it's on the horse. So once you end up having that fully charged and the light is green, you can turn around and at five o'clock at night, for the very first time that you set it up for putting on the mare, at five o'clock at night, take the power off. The light will initially go very bright for two seconds to show that the connection is right, and then after that, it'll dim a little bit and that light will be sufficient for that mare. The light ends out going on at five and automatically turns off at 11 p.m. For the Southern Hemisphere, the recommendation is that you put the light masks on between the 21st of June and the 1st of July to get the optimum effect for when you're serving from the 1st of September. So once you've fully charged that light mask, you can put it in sleep mode and then a few days before or the day before you go to put these masks on, you can preset it on your table and get it ready so that it's going on at 5pm and that, that'll be set for the whole season. So once you've got the light preset, Make sure that the cover is securely over the USB so that no moisture or dirt can get into it. Place it back in the pouch, close off the Velcro straps, and then get ready to put it on the mare. There are three lugs which are used for putting on the head collar. Those two holes there are where the ears go, and these are the two apertures for the eyes. The light is on the off side or the right side so that when you're always approaching the mare from the left side um, she's not blindsided with the fact that you've got that cup in the way. Be aware that these are very very stretchy so they do fit quite nicely on a mare's head. The diameter of that eyepiece is quite a lot larger than a normal Zulco mask to prevent the rubbing on the forehead of the mare. They're very light which also helps with the reduction in, in rubbings that occur but I still suggest that you on a daily basis check to make sure that the horse is quite comfortable with the mask it hasn't moved and that that the light is still operational because these mares do give them a hard time during the season and the mask will be on for three months odd in some cases and you need to be aware that uh, rubs can occur. So once you've finished using the mask and you want to store the mask in light, my suggestion is that you unscrew those two nuts there, take the light out which feeds through and comes out through this aperture here and it allows you to have the mask separate from the light source. Then you go back and recharge that light fully, put it into sleep mode and leave that for the next season. With the mask, if you Clean it the best you can, then put it in a washing machine and clean it all up and then inspect it to see how well it's fared over three months staying on a mare all the time because these mares do give them a little bit of a hard time. 